The recently declassified Operation Northwoods documents, kept top secret for 40 years, outline a U.S. government plot to kill hundreds, probably thousands, of American citizens for political gain. In 1962, President JFK's Joint Chief of Staff, General L. L. Lemnitzer, masterminded the Northwoods Plan in order to start a war with Cuba. The American people certainly did not want a war, and neither did Castro, so a series of false flag operations were designed to cause a, quote, helpful wave of indignation and get people behind a war. The methods to be employed were many and varied, from starting rumors using clandestine radio to sinking and setting fires to U.S. ships, dressing like Cubans to attack U.S. bases, blowing up ammunition and planes, starting fires and riots, and last but not least, hijacking and shooting down a commercial passenger plane. The document actually says that, quote, casualty lists in U.S. newspapers would cause a helpful wave of indignation. They even plan to, quote, conduct funerals for mock victims to gain added public support if there weren't enough real victims. All this was already approved and signed by every Joint Chief of Staff and the Secretary of Defense when President John F. Kennedy received it. Thankfully for us all, JFK refused to sign the Northwoods document, and the plan was never carried out. But its very existence proves that the government is certainly not always friendly and looking out for our best interests. Paul Joseph Watson wrote, It has been officially revealed via declassified government documents that the U.S. military and government has covertly planned to perpetrate acts of terror upon innocent civilians in order to justify an engagement in conflict that would have, at the time, benefited the government's wider geopolitical agenda. According to ABC News, in the early 1960s, America's top military leaders reportedly drafted plans to kill innocent people and commit acts of terrorism in U.S. cities to create public support for a war against Cuba. Long hidden documents uncovered in 2001 by former ABC News investigative reporter James Bamford, codenamed Operation Northwoods, put a haunting perspective behind the events of September 11th. The Joint Chiefs of Staff documents propose launching a secret and violent war of terrorism against their own country in order to condition the people of the USA into supporting an intended war against Cuba. These sickening plans called for innocent American civilians to be shot, for Cuban refugees to be blown up, for violent and continued acts of terrorism to be perpetrated in major American cities, for innocents to be framed for bombings, and for planes to be hijacked. This would then be blamed on Fidel Castro and Cuba thus inciting hatred for him and communism, and instigating the public backing that the JCS needed as an excuse to launch the pre-planned war. James Bamford wrote, The plan, which had the written approval of the chairman and every member of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, called for innocent people to be shot on American streets, for boats carrying refugees fleeing Cuba to be sunk on the high seas, for a wave of violent terrorism to be launched in Washington, D.C., Miami, and elsewhere. People would be framed for bombings they did not commit. Planes would be hijacked. Using phony evidence, all of it would be blamed on Castro, thus giving Lemnitzer and his cabal the excuse, as well as the public and international backing they need to launch their war. David Icke wrote, it is no good people claiming their leaders could not have been behind the horrors of 9-11 when the documents exist to show that the Pentagon had planned in detail something very similar 40 years ago. And wait for this, Operation Northwoods also planned the hijacking of civil aircraft. The documents say it was possible to create an incident that would convince the people that the Cuban aircraft had shot down a chartered civil airliner on a flight from the United States to Jamaica, Guatemala, Venezuela, or Panama. In the Northwoods document, it actually refers to the USS Maine 
false flag pretext to the Spanish-American War. It reads, quote, A remember the main incident could be arranged in several forms. We could blow up a ship in Guantanamo Bay and blame Cuba, or we could blow up a drone anywhere in Cuban waters. So Northwoods ordered to sink our own ships, like the USS Maine, ordered to hijack and shoot down our own commercial airliners, like 9-11, and to bomb ourselves, like World Trade Center 93, Oklahoma, Madrid, 7-7, and so many others.